An element is a substance that cannot be broken down into anything simpler. A mixture is a substance consisting of two or more substances mixed together, however not in fixed proportions and not chemically bonded. And lastly, a compound consists of two or more elements that are chemically combined. Through the rest of the lesson, the two elements, iron and sulphur, will serve us as examples. We will perform four tests. Test 1. Let's check the appearance of the elements. This is simple. Iron filings are dark grey crystals, whereas sulphur is a bright yellow powder. Test 2. Action of water. You will see that in water, iron sinks and sulphur floats. Test 3. The action of hydrochloric acid. When you apply hydrochloric acid on iron filings, you can see bubbling. The iron reacts with the acid to produce hydrogen gas. This hydrogen gas can be tested for by holding an empty tube full of air over the tube of iron filings and acid. After a short time, we remove the upper tube and immediately put a lighted splint to the open end of the tube. A pop is heard, indicating hydrogen gas. When we repeat this process with sulphur and hydrochloric acid, there is no visible reaction at all. Test 4. Action of a magnet. If the iron is sprinkled onto a sheet of paper and the magnet is moved underneath the paper, you see the iron filings follow the magnet as they are attracted to it. You will see that the sulphur is not attracted to the magnet. From these four tests, it can be seen that iron and sulphur are two completely different elements and behave differently in the four tests. Iron is a metal element and sulphur is a non-metal element. Now, performing tests on a mixture of iron and sulphur. Some iron filing and sulphur powder are mixed together on a piece of paper. We have a mixture of iron and sulphur. If we add a bit more iron and we mix, we still have a mixture of iron and sulphur. As said earlier, the components of a mixture are not in fixed proportions. Let us now perform the same four tests on this mixture of iron and sulphur. Test 1. Appearance. In the mixture, we can clearly see the dark grey crystals of iron and the bright yellow powder of sulphur. Test 2. Action of water. We see that the iron in the mixture sinks and the sulphur floats. The components of the mixture have separated. Test 3. Action of hydrochloric acid. The iron in the mixture reacts to produce hydrogen gas as before. It gives a positive pop test when mixed with air and the mixture ignited. The sulphur in the mixture, however, gives no visible reaction. Test 4. Action of a magnet. As the magnet is moved underneath the paper, you will see the iron is attracted, but the sulphur is not. The iron and sulphur can be separated, illustrating the fact that the components of a mixture can easily be separated by physical means. From the above, it can be seen that the components of a mixture behave as when they are on their own. That is, they retain their separate identities. Finally, let us perform the same four tests on a heated mixture of iron and sulphur. Heating the mixture of iron and sulphur causes the iron and sulphur to bond chemically to form the compound iron 2 sulfide. Now, let us look at how the compound iron 2 sulfide behaves in the four tests. Test 1. The compound iron 2 sulfide is a black solid, so it appears different from that of iron and sulphur. Test 2. Action of water. In water, the iron 2 sulfide compound sinks and there is no separation. Test 3. Action of hydrochloric acid. The reaction between iron 2 sulfide and hydrochloric acid should be done in a fume cupboard, as when the hydrochloric acid is added to the iron 2 sulfide, bubbles are seen, but the gas formed is hydrogen sulfide gas, which is toxic. Test 4. Action of a magnet. As the magnet is moved underneath the paper, you will see that all the iron 2 sulfide is attracted. There is no separation. 